Welcome to Life with Queen Sandy and family, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know who it is, Queen Sandy, the queen of know you heard me. Where you get new all in soul food and a chance to spend every day with Life with Queen Sandy and her gorgeous and beautiful family, you heard me, my husband and my kids. Now today's menu on Life with Queen Sandy and family, your girl Queen Sandy just got through from cleaning up outside, you heard me, and cleaning up our yard and also cleaning up our house. Your girl Queen Sandy about to show y'all how I get down New Orleans style up in Texas, you heard me. Fixing some 504 breakfast pancakes, bologna and eggs on rotate, you heard me. Y'all see how beautiful it is? How your girl Queen Sandy came out here and cleaned up? I also had to clean up the sweet shop too, baby. Also, ladies and gentlemen, your girl Queen Sandy got the humidifiers going. I refilled them. You see how beautiful they look on these end tables, ladies and gentlemen? How many of Life of Queen Sandy and family viewers when they order y'all a humidifier a diffuser after looking at our video? Our kids are the greatest, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all see how those, how those lamps is? If only y'all could smell it. Right now your girl Queen Sandy got baby powder up in there. You can never go wrong with baby powder. It's kind of a little dark, but that's your girl, Queen Sandy, head to the kitchen and start my day off with Life of Queen Sandy and family viewers, fixing some 504 breakfast, you heard me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so far, your girl, Queen Sandy, didn't already prep. I didn't already whipped up the pancake batter, and I have my all the food items that I'm going to be cooking out already laid out on the counter, baby. And I also cleaned off the Black & Decker grill, and I also knocked out the dishes, you heard me. So let your girl Queen Sandy set this camera up. I forgot how you see it. Last time I was cooking, I think I had it set up about right here. So how I like for Queen Sandy and family viewers today? Doing? Y'all doing all right? Well, that'll stand on one stand, but stand, it don't want stand taller, but it, it's working perfectly fine the way that your girl Queen Sandy have it right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, what y'all doing today? Have my viewers then start already cooking breakfast? Now, what your girl Queen Sandy gonna do right now? Y'all already see I'm putting some cooking oil on the grill, about to grease it up. Let your girl Queen Sandy turn that grill on and get it preset. Now, right now, ladies and gentlemen, your girl Queen Sandy then preset the grill to 300. And what I'm about to do is get my spatula and spread that cooking oil all over that black and decker grill, you heard me. Ladies and gentlemen, jump in the comments and let your girl Queen Sandy and family know how many Life of Queen Sandy and family viewers own a black and decker grill. And do y'all love using it? What I like about the grill is that I don't have to clean out as many pots as I normally do because when, unless like I'm doing like my, my big food items, like my greens and my beans and my cabbage and stuff like that, then I prefer using my pots. What I like about the Black & Decker grill is like when you start off right with the grill, like if you're fixing like your pancakes and it don't, the items don't stick to the grill, you could just take a towel and wipe it down and start and put whatever else back on there just a little simple wipe down. Did Life of Queen Sandy and family viewers enjoy that video that me, my kids and I have done? Right now, baby girl at school. My up in band camp. You so proud of her? I think the girl be exhausted. Can't do it like our baby, you heard me. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all see how your girl Queen Sandy make it look so easy and simple to spread this cooking oil 504 style on this black and decker grill, baby. Now, the reason that your girl Queen Sandy chose cooking oil, ladies and gentlemen, is because 
I'm doing the pancakes first, and I'm just, like I just told y'all previously, I'm going to just take the little towel and wipe it down afterwards. And then I'll fry the bologna on there and also whoop up, whoop up our scrambled eggs, baby. I didn't already whooped up the eggs. Now it's simple to use this little grill. You just spread your coconut like that. Like bam, yay! Now, ladies and gentlemen, your girl, Queen Sandy, going to set this right here. Let me get my little towel I have sitting on the container. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Life of Queen Sandy and fi family would like to thank everyone that liked, commented, shared, and subscribed to Life of Queen Sandy and family, the place where you get to interact with my family and I on a daily basis, and we take y'all on a journey with us, baby. And like I said... Life of Queen Sandy and family is going to keep on going up and up and up. Uh, uh, we, we just accomplished that goal at, at, at achieving that thousand subscribers. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, never know, we might wake up with 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. We ain't stopping until we going to the trillions, baby. That's how I was raised, to have extreme confidence. Nevertheless, and let nobody tell y'all nothing different, ladies and gentlemen. Nevertheless, always more. I mean, in New Orleans, that was the mindset that I always had. How to make a million dollars in a day. No matter what I was doing, whether I was working a job or whatever, that's the mindset that I advise everybody to have. How to make a million dollars in a day. So, ladies and gentlemen, your girl Queen Sandy is about to make some little pancakes. Look how smooth that batter is, baby. And these pancakes that my firstborn Big Addison had brought, ladies and gentlemen, they're kind, they're kind of a little rich than the pancakes that we normally use. The normal pancakes that your girl Queen Sandy purchased when I made groceries is the one that you just add water. But these right here, you just add water as well. He purchased the Pioneer. So this is my first time using Pioneer pancake batter. I got to hurry up and kind of leave. The batter down with this pioneer batter. probably use this pancake batter at IHOP or something. Y'all see how beautiful the queen of Indo have these 504 pancakes on rotate, baby? Can't do it like me. another batch of, of six left and then that'll complete our pancakes and then 
I'm a fry. I five oh four baloney. How how do life of Queen Sandy and family love eating a baloney? Do y'all leave the red thing around the baloney or do y'all take it off? Jump in life of Queen Sandy and family and family comments and let your girl Queen Sandy know how y'all eat y'all love y'all baloney. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fry a few pieces of bologna with the red thing around it and a few without. But actually that really don't make no sense. I might as well just fry the bologna with the red thing around it. And once everybody eat, they just remove the red thing off the bologna, you heard me? I'll let your girl Queen Sandy flip these pioneer pancakes, baby. I woke up so motivated this morning. At first, I didn't know if I wanted to do a video with putting my lashes on and cleaning up and all that, but then the microphone didn't want to work, so I said, look, baby, you ain't stopping nothing, you heard me? I went, I, I need, because the, like I told y'all in my previous video, ladies and gentlemen, my front camera microphone work, but my back camera microphone do not work. So that's the reason that I utilize the microphone. And I'm so happy that my husband have it with him having a whip, the whip stop channel, ladies and gentlemen. Because we have, it, you know, make it look more professional. And then also one of... Life of Queen Sandy and family subscribers advice that I get that we get a microphone as well. So so shout out to you. Thanks for giving me that positive feedback, you know, because we all have to step up our game, you know. You probably looked at because when my when my that was up in the video when my son, young Prince Wap had done the video up in a sweet shot. You couldn't really hear him in a microphone. I just love our subscribers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what your girl Queen Sandy about to do is take these little pancake crumbs off of this the grill, put it in here in this little tray. Now, since I didn't already grease down the grill, I don't. There's no need to add any more cooking oil, ladies and gentlemen. So, what your girl Queen Sandy about to do is lay my pan, my pioneer pancake mix down, five oh four style, baby. I cooked, but I didn't get a chance to upload my video. I've been working so hard. I fixed some smothered chicken with potatoes and corn over rice. Baby, my family tore that up. Our baby girl was so happy when she came home from school. As y'all can see, they ain't missing no meals, you heard me. They like, they love to eat. Now this batch of pancakes is actually less than what I quoted to y'all ladies and gentlemen. But as long as it's enough for everybody. So what your girl Queen Sandy about to do baby is y'all can see I'm about to put my bowl in the zinc. Bam. Let's see. You think this one ready to flip? 
the count of three. One, two, three. Whee! Every morning, my baby girl get up and fix breakfast every morning to bring to school with her and bring lunch. I'll be up right there with her, helping her fix her food to bring to school with her. Now you be looking so adorable with her little lunchbox. That's how her and all her brothers go to school with their little lunchbox. Queen Sandan family viewers have their kids' school supplies and their school uniforms and their shoes and stuff out the way. I know sometimes as a mother, it get hectic, especially like it wouldn't be last minute. But now the kids don't even need all those school supplies since everything is done online now. This week I've been working on writing in cursive with my son Prince Watt. I said at home, the teachers is your mama and your daddy first. You can't wait for the teachers at school to teach y'all anything. It start at home first. And I'm surprised they ain't even start eating. My Prince Watt is going to the eighth grade and they ain't even start teaching them how to write in cursive yet. I said, what if somebody write you a, a check? You want to make sure he, that, you know, they got your name written on that check right. Ain't no bringing it back. You're going to get it right first. So I can go and cash this check. You heard me? But he know how to read it. I give him that. But what I did, I took, I took my time. I took a sheet of paper. And I started with the months of the year, the days of the week. And his name, because you know his name, that, that's the first thing that you have to write in cursive on your paper when your teachers give you assignments at school. So I started with his name and the date. So had to do it how when he was in kindergarten all over again. When he used to have them big old number two pencils. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm like, you know how to build a whole game and know how to write in cursive yet? It's like the computers have these kids so advanced now, but you can't skip steps to the certain things that's needed. If I had to learn how to write in cursive in school, point blank, y'all, you have to learn how to write in, cur in cursive in school. Now your sister and your brother know how to write in cursive. But I love Chris Bobby, and I ain't gonna must lie. He, he's so smart. Now you're gifted in Sanderson and Brandon Accelerated. All praise for the God. Man, my husband be doing our thing with our kids. And Randy, Randy our first one, McGabsy start, uh, he already started, started college. And he started again next week. Pursuing his career with air conditioning and refrigeration, ladies and gentlemen. So proud of Randy, baby. They big brother leading for the greater good. That's one thing about Randy. My husband taught our kids how to start saving money probably from the age of eight. Randy is 19, about to be 20 on September the 1st. 
Our son, Randy McAbsey, been holding on a job since the age of 16, purchased his own, purchased two cars himself. Now, if my husband and I had it like that, we would have, you know, brought our, our firstborn his first car. Now, we put in with him, you know, towards getting his first vehicle. But when I had my car when he was in 11th grade, I used to let him go to go to school stunting every day. And his little girl, girlfriend used to be in the car, his friends, for lunchtime. He used to help me out and bring his sister and brother to school, baby. And he used to be stunting. I'm so proud of him. So proud of my husband. He's been getting all these sponsorships. I remember in the beginning when him and I both were trying to find ourselves with the YouTube world, you know, with where to start off at. Starting off with like knickknack items around the house, like your tennis shoes and stuff like that. And he figured out what worked for him. Having making con call content on a daily basis. One thing about my husband, though, in a relationship, you're supposed to teach each, each other. You heard me. And what he know, I know. What I know, he know. I remember when we had our old car. Boy, look, he shouldn't have, if you go, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, jump in life for Queen Sandy. Let, jump in your girl Queen Sandy comments and let me know what y'all think. If y'all husband teach y'all how to do something, and then when you show him that you know how to do it, he, they shouldn't feel no kind of way, you know, right? Well, my husband taught me how to take, change a tire. And when I was, Old, the, our old car was out of commission for a while in a, in a garage, and we didn't have a car. That car still worked. Only thing it needed was a jump and, and um, tire inflation, right? Because it sat so long in the garage. So I pulled Queen Sandy, the, the queen, the woman that I am, you hear me? I pulled the car out the garage and took all four tires off myself, jacked the car up, add the tires, put the tires back on, and rolled to the gas station, got some gas in the car, and came back home. Boy, my husband was, he was like, babe, why you done that? Why you? I'm like, well, you taught me how to do it. Isn't that what I was supposed to do? Come on now, baby, be for real. You, you got me, you, I don't want people to think that I'm not helping you, but you, you get, I don't like waking, you get what I'm saying? I know he would have done it, but I, I thought that that would have been something that he would have been excited about, baby. His wife actually listened to what he told me how to do, and I actually done it myself. I love my husband, no baby. Now, like, yeah, who want a pancake on rotate? Now, your girl, Queen Sandy, is about to rinse off this towel, ladies and gentlemen. Then last night I done my toes. Well, I'm here to let y'all see this. I ain't have no more polish remover. I had to use the fingernail file that my kids brought their mama for Mother's Day. And file it down, but I ain't file it down too much because normally, like, if I if I don't have fingernail polish, even though I know I could have, you know, sent them to the store to go get me some, but normally sometimes I file it down too much. And then it thin in the cuticle and my nail on my toe. But let your girl Queen Sandy give y'all up close look. Like, yeah. My husband was like, babe, that's tight. But coming in, up in New Orleans, and not just coming up in New Orleans, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that's where any woman 
Shoot, if you know how to do something, you do it yourself, and that, that keep extra money in your house, you know. Let your girl clean sand to grab a spoon. Milk this butter. Spread it like that. You let that milk. Grab my spatula again, ladies and gentlemen. Because with the instructions on that grill, they said, don't put like no spoons, no metal on there, gotta use plastic. So let your girl clean sandy spread this butter. I have so much to do today. I have to pull out the you know, we're getting we're back to school and with the kids not with them with them wearing regular clothes, you want all the money that we they invested in, you know, going shopping and stuff every week and stuff, ladies and gentlemen, with the clothes that they still could fit. I wanna make sure I get their summer clothes, the you know, the clothes that they wanna wear throughout the school year that they still could fit, plus the new school clothes that their mommy and daddy brought them for school. And hang them up on the hangers. Now over the weekend, my baby girl, she done her whole closet. I helped her, I hung all her clothes up. And she folded and cleaned out her closet. Our baby's getting older now. They still spurred with their mama cleaning up their room every day. But I don't do it how I used to do it. They just spurl like that. Now all I have to do, thank God, is just sweeping my thing rooms. Randy and Randy love cleaning their room and Naya love cleaning her room. Naya mostly just be having music equipment everywhere in her room. So all the mama be needing to do is just wash their sheet and their blanket, baby. And dump their garbage. Y'all see how beautiful Queen Sandy got these eggs, baby? Now what I'm about to do, ladies and gentlemen, is scoop my pancakes on the side. delicious eggs and plate it. This is the start, the start of a great day, a great and productive day. Let me get my husband some breakfast in bed, baby. So he can go and make his content with the sponsorship items that they sent them. So my husband had to have a full stomach, baby. Yesterday, my baby boy went and restocked for me again. The Abzi. He be on it. My husband made our baby girl D. My husband was at school like 20 minutes early before I even got out of school waiting for our baby. Now he's a girl.
Now what your girl Queen Sandy about to do, ladies and gentlemen, is rinse out my towel again. I like my bologna black. That's how I can eat it. Especially when my uncle used to be in the kitchen with the river. That was one thing I didn't know how to do, baby. He used to say, you big bird, and I used to say, you burnt black biscuit. But I love his relationship and my big sister. They have a fun relationship. They just be ribbing each other all day. He used to call me Oliver. Come here, Oliver. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your girl Queen Sandy is about to put this in the refrigerator, baby. Now, we need a fork. And also, I have to clean out this towel again. Then I still be getting copyright, ladies and gentlemen. I guess maybe, maybe YouTube is trying to tell me just be myself up in the videos and I really don't need all that free music up in the video, you know. So what y'all think about that? Because on some of my videos, I still got copyright, and they said that the background music free. That's Ain't that false advertising, baby? And I still got copyright, and I said, y'all ain't saying nothing, baby. Look, I had that video straight up in cap cut. I went and delete, delete the background music and re-uploaded my video again. Who y'all think y'all playing with? But like, like your girl Queen Sandy said, ladies and gentlemen, to any of Life of Queen Sandy and family viewers that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, start one. You know, whether it's about you and your relationship with your companion, you and your kids, the activities that you do, or you at work, whatever it is. Whether you go to church and, and it's pertaining to gospel and your religion, think, just, just it motivating, upload a video. You never know how many people look forward to looking at your videos, who you inspire, who you teach. Those people always keep it real and they always come back. Especially when you have a one-of-a-kind personality. And the majority of the time, that's what it be about, your personality, what type of person you are. If you're a comedian, make comedy videos, you know. The Life of Queen Sang Dan family is about family, inspiring, and motivation. And how we could get a million dollars in a day. That's the mindset. That's the goal. How to become rich in a day. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, your girl, Queen Sandy, like I said, we need to run up our view time duration on our videos. Currently, we're only 12,000 and maybe about 200 and something away from the reaching YouTube's milestone. So make sure to look at Life of Queen Sandy and Family's longer durational videos, ladies and gentlemen. 
We appreciate that. I just love our life for Queen Sandy and family viewers and supporters. In my book, this is a rich man's meal. There are rich people that love eating bologna too. Black, thank you very much. Like fried a little harder. Now, if, if, like, if Queen Sandy had a restaurant, ladies and gentlemen, how would y'all want me to fry y'all bologna? Y'all want it light like this? Or keep it on this grill a little longer? Jump in your girl Queen Sandy comments and let me know, baby. Y'all better leave a comment in reference to my toes, too. You know that I put it down stunner style 504, baby. Crushed out bling bling. Let me give y'all another up close view. If your girl Queen Sandy breakfast on rotate. Now who want a plate? day my husband and my kids and I we enjoyed ourselves playing basketball baby we really did y'all see my baby girl making three in a row can't do it like princess now you know prince wop you heard me and know they mama and know my husband that's what we glorified I think that's one of the most beautifulest things in the world when you see the work that a mother and a father put in on a daily. That's something that nobody and their mama can never take from a man, no matter what color you are. No matter what color you are. Never. Zero tolerance. Don't have to say nothing. Don't have to say nothing. Because real men, they can't speak for them. When you see they clean their shop every day, getting good grades in school every day, that father don't have to say nothing. Now jump in life for Queen Sandy and family comments and let me know what y'all think about that. Fathers being proactive and active in a community, physically, mentally, and spiritually. That's what's one of the main problems with the world today. You can never take away no work that a real man put in with their kids. Especially coming from where we from. I love my husband, baby. Like, Pushing out Naya, pushing out Randy, our firstborn, Renaya, and Randon with their daddy and my mama present and my father-in-law present for all three birds. All three that know a man that know how to put a braid in the hair and ain't have to go to cosmetology school because he has sisters too. And he's seen his mama do it. That know how to love a woman and know how to raise a lady, boy. 
Get out of here. So, that's why we ain't baloney today. Because a lot of people be trying to take stuff from people that actually put the work in, the dedication, and a time. And never went through no sweat. But it's by the grace of God. That's why I'm happy that we are in Texas. Our kids were shielded from the things that we went through. Because my husband and I, we had it hard coming up. Our kids didn't have to see that because our God is much bigger. And he shielded them from that baby. When you actually had to work to now, you get what I'm saying? All that, boy. Delicious baby. And y'all already know for a fact it is, you heard me. Now how you love that baby. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching Life of Queen Sandy and Family. And I hope that we inspire y'all on a daily basis and motivate y'all in a positive way and i like to thank everyone that like commented share and subscribe to life of queen sandin family ladies and gentlemen make sure to look at our longer durational videos so we can reach youtube's milestone ladies and gentlemen and also we pray that everyone is having a great and blessed day that god bless us with on this beautiful day y'all seen how beautiful it was outside today i hope it be like that tomorrow you heard me ladies and gentlemen make sure to not set your expectations too high, but high enough that y'all can reach them. And to those that's not having a great day, pray about your situation and God will take care of it, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Life of Queen Sandy and Family, baby. God is good all the time. Hold your head up, baby girl. Whatever, a uh, 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 sir, ma'am, a uh, sir. If y'all going through something, God is bigger. You understand me? Pray your way through. You got this. And I love you. Peace out.